but we know the time this and depleted old building by the grace of the former owner, Mr. L. Dulo, had sold that building and today we have seen this building come to pass. Congratulations to all the BJP Karyakartas of Nagaland. We now have a home and an office of our own. Further in the days to come, we may build greater buildings and greater achievements and greater state officers or district officers or mandal officers, but this will remain as the first original BJP Nagaland State home and office for all of us. As far as Bharati Janata Party is concerned, we are honored that today BJP is one of the biggest political parties, <coughs> rather biggest organization of the whole world. And we all are part of this world family, I would say. One of the biggest families of the world. We are all part of it. We are honored that we have a Prime Minister today, a leader in BJP, who is not just a leader of India, but a global leader. As far as Northeast is concerned, a great deal has changed after 2014, after the reigns of India were taken up by Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. Remember, formerly, Sarbananda Ji is from Assam. Formerly, we had a Prime Minister with all due respect to Dr. Manmohan Singh. He was elected from Assam. But despite being elected from Assam, how many times did he come to Nagaland or how many times did he come to Northeast? Very few times. He came only twice for his nomination for the Rajya Sabha. And by the way, I forgot to mention my sister, Ms. Konyak, who is sitting over here, Rajya Sabha member. Greetings to you as well. So only for the nomination, Dr. Manmohan Singh came to Assam. He never toured the Northeast. But today I can proudly say the present Prime Minister, our leader, Sri Narendra Modi ji has come to Northeast has come to Manipur, has come to Nagaland, has come to Arunachal Pradesh, has come to Assam, has come to Sikkim, has come to Mizoram, has come to Meghalaya more than 56 times. Just imagine within eight years, he has come to the Northeast state more than 56 times and the new definition that he has given to NE, Northeast is new engine. So, Nagaland, Bharatiya Janta Party ka कार्य वृद्धि का केंद्र बिंदु एक कार्यालय बनेगा कार्य का आलय बनेगा कार्य का घर बनेगा दूसरा जैसे कार्य का आलय है वैसे ही कार्यकर्ताओं के लिए भी ये उनका एक घर है इसलिए कार्य और कार्यकर्ता वर्क एंड वर्कर दोनों के लिए एक हाउस एक होम एक घर तैयार हुआ है जैसे हम अपने घर को संभालते हैं सजाते हैं और सुरक्षा देते हैं वैसे ही हमको पार्टी के घर को भी संभालना सजाना और सुरक्षित रखना इसकी जिम्मेदारी का निर्वाह करना पड़ेगा हमारा कार्यालय बन गया इसका मतलब है नागालैंड में भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्य का विस्तार एक्सपेंशन ऑफ पार्टी ये होने वाला है विस्तार का मतलब क्या है यहां से प्लानिंग बनेगी यहां से एजुकेशन होगा और यहां से मॉनिटरिंग होगी योजना क्रियान्वयन और निरीक्षण उन तीनों का केंद्र बिंदु या कार्यालय बनेगा तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी नागालैंड के हर बूथ पर मजबूत पार्टी हर मंडल की मजबूत पार्टी हर असेंबली में जीतने वाली पार्टी और नागालैंड पर शासन करने वाली पार्टी बनेगी तो आज मोदी जी ने नॉर्थ ईस्ट को 
जैसे मान्यता दी है इसके पहले कांग्रेस कम से कम सात साल तक राज किया इन द लॉन्गेस्ट पीरियड ऑफ सिक्सटी इयर्स कांग्रेस टोटली नेग्लेक्टेड दिस पार्ट ऑफ दंट्री एज ए रिजल्ट वी फील टोटली आइसोलेटेड इग्नोर्ड एंड ह्यूमिलेटेड वी डिंट हैव एनी पोजिशन इन द कंट्री बट इन द लास्ट एट ईयर्स वी हैव सीन how honorable prime minister modi ji has created space for our comfortable accommodation and how he has created provision for our upliftment promotion in all the sector of human activity whether it is education connectivity communication culture tourism in all sector it is modi ji who has put his best possible effort to promote us now and the entire along with the other part of the country the entire north east is progressing fast and that is why i am confident that all the members of bjp of nagaland state if we all put your best possible effort and try to tag everybody along of the people of nagaland definitely whatever destination we have targeted to achieve that can be achieved comfortably so that is why bjp government at the center who has been now regarded and known to be a government of performance government of ability government of commitment government of determination government of honesty government of good governance government of taking everybody along so this is the power of modi's personality and his administration his governance and now india is no more a country of ordinariness now india has become one of the most powerful nation in the world the people of india under the dynamic leadership of honorable prime minister narendra modi ji could able to impress the global society in many area of human activity I now request our most honorable national president Sri Jagat Prakash Nadda ji to address our karyakartas thank you address the gathering there at Nagaland Mr Timjem Nand Imna I long the very dynamic and very president of the nagaland party sri sarvanand sonwal ji the central minister and a senior leader sri shubhakar ji our organizing general secretary sri sambit patra ji who is the coordinator of the northeast eastern states 
Pindalan Kohli ji, who is the in charge of Taga Lahari. Pirantaraj Chana ji, who is the co-coordinator of the Northeastern State. When I'm talking about the good office which you have inaugurated, which we have inaugurated just now, and which will be of use to you, I would also like to share that Prime Minister Modi has changed the political culture of the country. There was a time when people used to forget, they used to give slogans, and after one election, another election, they used to come out with new slogans. But Prime Minister Modi gave a government which was proactive, which was responsive, which was responsible, which you always took care of the people. And so we can say that politics of report card came into existence. There was always a word which was called as anti-incumbency. There was always a word which was called as anti-incumbency. That anti-incumbency was converted into pro-incumbency. A new word was called and that was pro-incumbency. Now we are seeing success in Congress. When we get re-elected, it is because of the pro-incumbency which takes place. And we also believe in the politics of development. So that has also been given due weightage which I would like to share with you. Friends, the century's devastating pandemic came in 2020, which is known as COVID. I've been a health minister at the union level and also at the state level. I know that this country has suffered a lot on the health issues. We have seen that this country, the vaccine for smallpox came after 25 years to India. It was invented, but it came 25 years later into India. We have seen that tetanus, the vaccine for tetanus and the medicine for tetanus came after 30 years. We have seen that the polio drops reached India approximately 28 years later. We have seen that Japanese encephalitis, the medicine was uh, was uh, invented in 1906 in Japan and it came to India in 2006, that is 100 years later. But here I would like to share with you that Corona came and the first case was in January 20 of the 2020. In, on April 20th, Prime Minister Modi instituted the task force and also enthused our scientists and gave them financial support for research of making a vaccine. Nagaland is immensely honored and grateful to our great leader, our national president, Sri J.P. Nadarji, for sparing time to virtually inaugurate our state office building here at Upper Acre Colony, Kohima, and for sharing with us